What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to do color correction in 90 seconds or less inside Resolve 16. Let's get into it. Hey, if you guys are new here, my name is Josh Haynes. I'm a freelance filmmaker and I bring out weekly videos helping you guys grow as content creators. So if you have not already, click that subscribe button and tag along. Today I'm gonna to be tackling this color correction in 90 seconds or under. This is just my method, this is how I do things. Disclaimer, I am not a professional colorist. There are colorists that their job is just that and they are phenomenal at it. Also, this is a color correction in under 90 seconds, not a color grade. That is a whole nother thing. Color correction is fixing footage and making it look as good as it possibly can. Color grading is putting style and a certain feel into that. If you guys would like to see a color grading in 90 seconds or under, drop those comments below, let me know. Uh, give me a thumbs up on this video. Anyways, enough of me jabbering. Let's slap some time on the clock and let's go. So you guys can see I just got some basic footage here. So the first step, what I'm gonna do is I am just gonna create a little bit of an S curve in this just a little bit kind of to bring that back. I'm gonna hit option S, add another serial node. And what I'm gonna do with that is I'm actually going to boost the color just about 3% and then I'm gonna hop over here and I'm gonna boost the saturation to where I think looks good. I think 70 looks pretty good right there. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another serial node and on this one, I am going to actually bring some contrast back into that just a little bit to expand it. We're also gonna take the shadows and we're just gonna bring them a little more to the blue and we're gonna bring the highlights a little bit more to the warm just because that's how it was true that day. And I might actually hop back in this one and I am going to boost the saturation a little bit more. Don't wanna to go too far, otherwise it's going to break. So keep an eye on your footage as you're doing that. Uh, let me highlight both of these. We're gonna hit Command D just to see it before and after. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And the last step is I'm gonna add one more serial node and on this one, I am gonna do the same thing but I'm gonna bring the shadows a little bit more to the warmth. And I'm gonna bring the midtones a little bit to the cooler. And yeah, I think that looks awesome. You guys can see that's a very basic color correction. Again, this is not color grading. I like adding multiple serial nodes so I can shut them off and on and see if I'm tweaking a few things. I would honestly probably go back in there and just tweak a few things to fine tune it. But for a very basic under 90 seconds, that's how I would do it. Now let's take this up one step further. Because I shoot everything on the Pocket Cinema 4K, I do everything in B-roll. This is not B-roll. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do a B-roll color correction in 90 seconds and three two one let's go all right so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go to the camera raw I'm gonna hit clip so I can change this and here we can change to different ISOs I think 500 is fine for now I'm fine with color temp tint and exposure but I am gonna bring the saturation up to probably 140 should be fine we are gonna boost the contrast just a little bit I'm gonna bring the midway point up just a little bit. I'm gonna do shadow roll off and highlight roll off. I'm gonna drop the black down just a little bit more. I think that looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna add another serial node yet again. And in this one, I'm gonna do a little bit more curves, just a little bit. We're gonna add one more serial node. And in this one, I'm actually gonna go down here to the color dropper and turn the magic wand on. We're gonna highlight the skin a little bit, just move it around where I think looks good. I'm gonna denoise a bit. I'm gonna add some blur, make sure there's clean white and clean black. We're gonna hop back over to the color wheels and we're just gonna boost the saturation just a little bit more. Now you can see if I click on that command D, the color on the skin is just a little bit more poppy. The last step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add one more serial node and in here I'm gonna hop back over to the curves. We're gonna go to the fourth tab and we're just gonna add a little bit fade on the white and black just to make sure our whites are white and our blacks are black. If we highlight all those and we hit Command D, you can see the log to just the color. Again, it's just a very basic color, nothing too crazy. We're just color correcting the footage to get to a good place to start our color grading process. There you go, guys, just a very simple color correction video. If you guys wanna see that color grading video, I may have to extend it more than 90 seconds. I don't know, maybe I'll bring out two videos. Uh, if that's something you guys are interested in, drop a comment below, let me know. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already with the 
bell notification on so you don't miss any of my new videos. You guys are amazing. I'm the Iron Giant. I'm out.